Hey everyone, this is Toxis. Um, I'm coming today with a new video of the HP ProBook 4530S. Um, I purchased this ProBook online for under $300. They usually go for $400 online um, if you buy them used, but if you buy them new, they're probably at four dollars or $500. But I got the one with um, the i3 4530-2310M. Um, this one is a 3000 I don't have a um, discrete graphics card. And if you're going to use uh, a, disc a discrete graphics card, um, you have to disable it in order to um, to that function. Um, I use what um, available tools on Twinamac is x86.com, um, TG's ProBook installer, and a few updated patch files from Big Donkey. Um, uh, let's just say everything works. Um, as you can see, the battery indicator sure right now should be 100% but it always shows 99% it works audio works audio is a bit low than what was normal from under Windows 7 previously it was down here when, when I used it it's pretty low but it works um, it's a laptop it doesn't matter Wi-Fi works as you can see Wi-Fi works everything see everything Bluetooth works but I haven't tested that out yet but it works um, I was lucky with my purchase. My purchase came with the Atheros 9285 card. So after installing the Pro Button installer, Kex, and so forth, and the options, it works. And then getting a DSD file for the computer, everything maps out in the DSD file for it, like for audio, battery indicator. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, everything. It does everything for it to see the DSD file, so we have to need no other kicks to get anything working specifically. But I don't want to waste too much time on ramble on. Uh, just let you know this is a new, this is HP Pro about 4530s. Now we have a Mac Pro, Pro laptop um, on the PC hardware. So stay tuned. I'm gonna bring new videos showing you what I did and the pitfalls I encountered. So watch out.